Hello there, trading friends. It is Thursday, August 4th, 2022. We got a short put in Shopify, which has a weak positive correlation to the SPY. Today, it's a cherry bomb from Tasty Trade. Four drops of liquidity. IV rank of 58, and we're going to move it along nice and fast today, everybody. Here we go. Hi, everybody. My name is Neil, and if this is our first time meeting, this is Option Theory. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope someday you'll hit the subscribe button uh, if you're interested. If not, have a nice day. Here we go. <laughs> On screen, you can see we're inside of Thinkorswim's simulated trading. We've got uh, uh, the chart pulled up for Shopify. We can see it's definitely gone on sale. Uh, boy, did it really start dropping. Let's see at its high uh, November 19th last year. It seemed to just be on a downward trend. And now we're finally seeing what looks like a recovery after some earnings here. Now, we're looking at a short put, of course, because I'm not the kind of trader that sits at my trading desk all day long. I'm going to do a bracket order. And if that's new to you, I think you'll like it. If not, then you know what to do. So, get going. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to go to the trade tab. And I'm going to be modifying the cherry bombs shortly because I'm not a big fan of the weeklies. And, uh, you know, I'll propose two alternatives as well besides the change in duration. We go down to at the money here. We can see we're looking. The trade was sent to us. It was the May September 9th weeklies, uh, and it was the thirty put. Now this has five thousand two hundred uh, open interest, whereas the the September weeklies at thirty had twenty eight open interest. So not much, right? And it's a nine delta in September, and a where are we? Ten delta here. We're looking at a 10 delta in the monthlies. So that's the trade um, as sent to us, modifying. And then I'm looking at, you know, the 16 delta is sort of the sweet spot, according to Tasty Trade Mechanics. That's an option as well, too, here. Uh, that's 15 cent wide on the bid ask. What's the 30 here? Only 5 cent wide. Let's go with the same strike. Got better open interest here. That's 30s, like 30s and 35s would probably be more, yep, more open interest there. Um, still a 10 cent wide though, huh? Okay, so 30 it is. So let's go with this and we're gonna uh, right click on this bid, choose sell custom, choose with OCO bracket. Now, I wanna change all of these to good till canceled so that I can uh, set it and forget it here. And I wanna take this trade off. First off, let's get a mid, hello. Let's get a mid price here. And then let's do 36 cents here. Not negative 36 cents, but 36 cents here is for when we take 50% of our maximum profit. And we've got 216, 216 as our uh, get out of dodge. Things are not going the way we want them to. So we'll use the taste to trade mechanic on a naked option to get off at. Uh, three times the credit received. And that is that. So if we wanted to, you could quickly go ahead and analyze this trade. And then let's get the date. Oh, it already is September 17th, love it. And then let's go ahead and get these price slices set correctly. There it is, we're looking at an 88.9. Let's just round that to 89, shall we? An 89% probability of profit at expiration on that one. Max profit, of course, is $72. And our max loss is going to be the strike price, which is 30 or $3,000, minus the $72 we could make for $29.78. This gold price slice tells you your max loss as well. So if you have an account size where you can manage and you feel comfortable risking $3,000, then this might be the trade for you. Of course, setting up the bracket order is not a guarantee you get out at that loss, but it does get pretty close to it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull the trade tab back up. There's my order. Going to hit confirm and send. Can't see the screen, but I'm going to show it to you right now. And it does show you the same thing we just told you before. Max profit 72, max loss 29.28. I'm going to throw that one in the margin account and go ahead and hit send. There it is. The trade is in my working orders. There she be. And until I see you next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I do hope you hit that subscribe button if you have not, have not yet. And maybe hear from you in the comments. All right. Take care, everybody.